In this tutorial, we are going to cover find and replace in Google Sheets. Let's get cracking. So first, really easy way for you to find values or words or numbers in Google Sheets is to use the shortcut Control F. So first we select on the cell, Control button, then F, a little pop up in the top right appears and we can search for anything. So let's just for fun search for bacon. Great. Straight away, we can see that there are 10 cells that contain the word bacon. Now they don't just have to be bacon on their own in the cell, but it also could be part of other values in the cell as well. You can also see on the left hand side here, if I go to B9, it highlights the first one. If I arrow down, it'll go to the next one. It conveniently shows us which one we're working on at the time. Also, you can see that each cell with bacon in it has been highlighted a little bit different. So we know at a glance where all the bacon is, and that's incredibly important for everyone. Now, if I clicked onto another sheet tab, so if I go from cohort one down the bottom here to cohort two, you can see that it is also searching through the entire range and it highlights each range for us. So if I go back up to one, and we can see each one is highlighted. And to get to each one, I just click the down or up arrow to get to each piece of bacon. I feel like I am the bacon Pac-Man right now. Okay, cohort three. Again, bacon appears again, and we can search through all the bacon until we are full. If I go to formulas, there's no bacon here, unfortunately, so nothing's highlighted. Cool. Let's go back to our cohort one. Now, control F isn't case sensitive. So if I'm looking for a normal bacon, B-A-C-O-N, and it will still come up with the capital letter bacon. Cool. So that's really good. That's something I use more often than not when searching for items in Google Sheets. But if we want something a little bit more powerful or if we want to replace something we've found, I use the find and replace functionality. Now there's two ways of accessing this. The first way is the amateur way and we're only going to do this once and then you're going to go onto the pro way. So first to get to find and replace, you can go to edit and you can see down here it says find and replace, but we're not going to click on that just yet because you're going to do the shortcut control H because it's something you need to memorize to really master Google Sheets and improve your productivity. So to get there, control, H, or if you're on a Mac, it should be Command and H. Now, if we're still greedy for bacon again, we can type in bacon. And this time around, it doesn't come up with a little up down arrow, but if we go down to the bottom left, we can click on find and bacon will appear. You can also see it goes to each bacon item, but it doesn't highlight all the items with that text in it. So it's one of the, the pitfalls of using find and replace as just a find engine. However, when find and replace comes to the fore is when you replace things. So let's do that. So you can see I've got some items here I've spelt wrong. Munt, for example. So munt is meant to be mint. So what we want to do is find any item that contains the poorly spelled mint, M-U-N-T, and replace it with the correct spelling, M-I-N-T. So we put that in the replace with cell. So we can search all sheets, which means I can search every single sheet tab in this workbook and replace it. Or I can just replace for this particular sheet, or I can replace for a specific range. Let's start small and work our way out so you can see the differences. So I've got specific range here. On my right hand side, I've got cohort 1D7. So you can see this little green area here is where I last put my mouse on the sheet screen. Now that's not going to be very helpful for us to find and replace. So let's change our range. We'll click select data range and I will delete that, selecting it and dragging across and deleting. And now I'm going to select cell A1 and we've got a couple of mints here. So down to 13, let's go down to C14. So I'm going to hold shift down and left click C14 to select the range and you can see the range now has been updated. I can click OK. And you can see in B3 that I have a spelling mistake there. So if I only wanted to replace that one and not the other ones, I wanted to have a quick look before I made the change. 
All I need to do is to select the replace button down the bottom here. So let's do that for B3. So that should be the first one we come to. And it'll first highlight and then click. And you can see Munt has been changed to Mint. But the next one, I love to eat Munt chocolate is still there. And down in row 13, the spelling mistakes are still there. Now, if we're happy to change all of them, all we have to do is click on replace all. And you can see the note in the bottom of this pop-up window. It says, replace three instances of Munt with Mint. Wicked. What about if we wanted to replace everything in this sheet tab? No worries. We'll go to our search item and we'll just select this sheet. Once we've selected this sheet, we can click on replace all. And now all our Munts are missing. So if we went to try and find Munt again, we can see there are no entries matching month. No worries. Unfortunately, I've made the mistake also in these other sheet tabs. So instead of just doing one sheet tab at a time, let's do the whole lot. So now I'll go to search all sheets and click replace all. And now we'll get a pop-up window. This will replace values on all sheets. Are you sure? Yes. Click OK. And now we know replace 20 instances of Munt with Mint across two sheets. So that would have been these ones. So let's have a look. There's Mint there, Mint there, that's cool. Let's have a look at this one. More Mint and Mint there, fantastic. Good stuff. Let's hit Done to complete that task. Now, how did? what was our shortcut to get in? That's right, Control H, we're back in for our shortcut for Find and Replace. So we can search for things as well to make them case sensitive. So if I just wanted a lowercase item, so I can see here I've got fried chicken and sometimes they've got some lowercase on them. So I'm gonna go fried. We won't do replace with at the moment, we'll just do find. So if I left it as is and clicked on find, it'll look at the capital or the lowercase. If I click on this match case now, it will only do the lowercase find for fried chicken. All right, so if I wanted to replace fried chicken with, mm, we might just want to capitalize it, but let's be a bit silly, fried delicious. So now we've got fried delicious chicken for those ones. Um, it won't replace the capital fried. It'll only re replace the lowercase one. So let's do that for all our sheets, replace all. This will replace values on all sheets, are you sure? Hell yes. Done, 60 instances have been changed and now we've got fried delicious chicken and fried chicken. Okay, so we realized we were being a bit silly there. To undo that, all we need to do is click Control and Z and every instance of those changes has reverted back to the lowercase fried chicken. So if you do make a change, you know you can quickly get it back. All right, shortcut again, what was it? Control H. Find and replace. Cool. So perhaps we want to just match the entire cell contents instead of these sentences here that contain it. We maybe just want to make some changes to, to something here. So we've got our lowercase fried chicken again. Uh, let's, let's put in our fried chicken. So if I say fried only and replace with capital fried, and then we say match cell contents, and we want to match case this time. And let's go do find, and it comes up with the error. There are no entries matching fried. Ah, we need to match the entire cell contents. So let's go to find again, and let's put in our chicken. And this time we'll go fried chicken. Oops, E K E N. And let's do our find again. Now it appears, but only the lowercase ones will appear because we wanted to match the case. So this time around, we want to replace all to make sure that. Everything's capitalized, so we're conforming to our convention here. So let's do all sheets again and replace all. Warning pop up, yep. And 30 instances have all been changed. If we look through all our cohort sheet tabs, they've all been changed. Bonza. Let's close it again. How did we get in? Control H, that's right. Back to find and replace. And this time around, we've got search using regular expressions. Now, regular expressions are a big, big topic, and I've gone into them in certain parts of 
this beginner's tutorial and there's a whole host of tutorials I have on regular expressions on my site. But for now we'll just do a couple basic regular expressions that you might use to help you search for things more accurately. Let's get started. First things first we're going to select regular expressions here and it'll immediately select match case because regular expressions are case sensitive. The elevator pitch for regular expressions, they're simply a, a series of special characters and codes that you can use to search for particular items in a string of text. So what if you wanted to find all the instances of the phrase barbecue shapes that occur at the start of the string or start of the sentence? How would we do that? Well, we can use this special character here, this little up arrow. Okay, and that's called a carrot. C-A-R-A-T. Okay, and then all we need to do next is type in, let's say maybe we're just looking for barbecue because we know it's a leading part of that phrase. So we'll type in B, B, Q. Done. Now we can replace that text or we can just find it. For our example, let's just find. So this time, if we're looking for a barbecue, so we've got barbecue shapes there, great. Uh, it should also do C11. Cool. Let's scroll down and see if we can find cells. So it should do B25 and C25. So I'll find that again, that one. And then let's have a look at this row 38. Should do this B38, but not C38. So I'll find. And you can see it skipped at uh, 38 because it's not at the start of the cell. Okay, so let's close and let's do another regular expression. Control H to get in. You're a pro at this now. Okay, so what if we wanted to find barbecue, BQ, or another value? Well, we can use this pipe symbol here. And that will say, okay, I want to look for barbecue or something else. In our case, that's pesto. Remember, case sensitive, P-E-S-T-O. And we've got to make sure we click on regular expressions. And let's hit find. So cool. There's barbecue there. Barbecue there. And then its next search item it found was pesto. Pesto, more pesto, 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 and barbecue. Great. So one last regular expression we'll look at is what if we want to find barbecue and pesto at the start of our cell? So let's close that again. Control H to get to find and replace. Okay, so what did we use to find something at the start? That's right, the up arrow, the carrot. And this time around, we're going to put our barbecue and our pesto in brackets. And basically this means anything in the brackets, find it at the start and or, which is our pipe. And then we'll say pesto, T-O, and close brackets. Awesome. So now if I click on find, oh, and if I click on find, it'll come up with an error. So of course I need to search using regular expressions. And once they're selected, we'll have some success. Click on find. And first one, pesto pasta, great. Let's find again, pesto pasta, great. What about I eat pesto? Well, it's not at the start, so it should skip it, right? And it does. Good barbecue, barbecue shapes should be okay, but this I eat, I like eating barbecue shapes should be rejected. So find, great, skipping through, no worries. Cool. So that's three major tools for using regular expressions. Let's move on to our last one. So click done and go to formulas. Awesome. So we can search in formulas to make some minor changes. As you can see here, I've got a list of numbers and then I've got some percentage changes here. So you can see I'm making a percentage of each number by going A3, which is the row in A3, and, do, and multiplying it by the percentage, which is in B1. And I've locked that in so it doesn't change as it goes down. Perhaps I want to change this to 10%. So I want to change the cell reference to C1. Well, what I can do here is use our shortcut, Control H, to get into Find and Replace. And this time I'm going to click on Also Search With In Formulas. So I'm going to move this across so you can see, but have a careful look at what happens in the spreadsheet when I do so. Everything changes to the background formula, which is incredibly helpful. So what I want to find is anything with these convenient dollar signs B and 1, which lock things in. And I want to replace them with C for column C for our 10%. 
and dollar sign one. We don't need to look at all sheets, it's just this sheet, so we'll change that to this sheet and let's replace all. Replace. So now everything is C1 instead of B1. Let's hit done and that'll convert everything back. And now we can see everything is converted to 10% instead of 5%. Okay, that's it for find and replace in Google Sheets. If you enjoyed the tutorial, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.